Good morning, guys. Welcome back up to our property up here in Southern Utah. If you saw in our last video, we got our cabinets in and they look amazing. You guys, we are getting so close. I'm, I'm ready. Today, I would like to start the flooring. We got all the flooring sitting right here. We need to do our hearth first for our stove and get the stove off the ground on the hearth. And I think what we're gonna do is just like a simple DIY hearth where we're gonna use some bricks and make like a pattern and then put those on the ground and then wrap the bricks with two by four, stain it and put some accent like hardware, knock it out. Once we get that done, then we can start the flooring. I think that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna go upstairs, start laying out a cool brick pattern and see what we can make work. Hopefully we have enough bricks. If not, we can probably get enough to where we can put the stove on it and then maybe fill in a few spots here and there. Once we get that done, flooring, here we come. Let's go get started. You guys, I'm so thankful for the sponsor of today's video, Bouge RV. Thanks to them, we've been able to have a portable refrigerator up in our apartment the entire time we've been up here. We don't have to go down to our trailer and get any cold drinks. We can just open the fridge, get a drink, and get back to work. Are you? start putting the hearth together. We're gonna to figure out how exactly we're gonna do it. We just moved the stove over a little bit because I have my self-leveling laser right here lined up with the center of the exhaust pipe up there. And then it's gonna go all the way down on the mark at the bottom where the center of the stove is gonna be. That way we know how big and where to place the hearth. I'm hoping we have enough bricks to do it, but we need to lay them out and then figure out exactly how big they need to be or how big the hearth is. And then we'll start cutting out two by fours and putting it all together. And hopefully picking the stove up and putting it in place today. All right. All right. So we're coming up with some brick ideas. What are we calling this one? The herringbone? Is that what it's called? That's what Google says. I, I think, think it's kind of cool. Yeah, I think it's cool looking. I just don't think we have enough bricks. We might have to go get some more. I like this one. It's a neat pattern. Gosh, I'm such a good picker outer of patterns. <laughs> I like it. It's a good one. <laughs> Not yet, buddy. We gotta we gotta get some more. No, it will fit. 29 by what? 33. 33, and what do we have to get to? 48 by 48? Yeah. <laughs> so we probably like we half the there. amount right now. Yeah, probably at least 60 more. We're in the truck. <laughs> we need more bricks. <laughs> we need more bricks. I grabbed 60 bricks just to see where, I, I thought that'd be enough, but it's like, we need at least double that. Maybe we're probably gonna go get. Like close to 100. Yeah, so I don't know. Hi, Bubba. <laughs> and our good friend Larry has a yard full of, like not full, but there's a ton of them. So he's letting us grab those. So we're gonna go to his yard and grab some more. But just a heads up, like if we were to buy a hearth yeah, yeah. and not make it ourselves, we're talking like. From like, I like I did like a quick research just to see like what like a four by four hearth is. And it's like anywhere from 600 to $1,500. And I just feel like that's crazy for like a little piece of stone that sits on the ground or whatever or a piece of tile or whatever. Something that's flame resistant. That's all it has to be. Bricks do that trick, do that But do I'm job. really excited about this because I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool. I think it's cool too. I like the red bricks. She was talking about painting them like yeah. gray or whatever, but I like them. We'll see what it looks like at the end, but. Or just any color. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not completely red brick yet, but I. I think it'd be a cool contrast. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna give it a chance. It's growing we'll on you. It's growing on you. We'll see. I don't know. You grew on me pretty well too. So. <laughs> Heading into town right now to get these things and hopefully get back in time to knock this out. We'll Ricky, is that your dance floor? Yeah. Let's see it. <laughs> this is the only time that you get to dance on it because there's going to be a stove right there to get, to get to dance on so. <laughs> Okay, move your cute little booty out of the way. We got chalk lines to make. 
We don't need any more blocks. We're good. We've got enough, Bubba. Can you hold Thank this you, though. Here? You don't. She's never yeah. done it. That's a sprinkler. Can you do the sprinkler? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a concrete cutter? Let's see, yes, it is. Doesn't this look cool? Yeah, I like it. We're right at like four feet and four feet right now. Actually, I think I just need to extend this one more block. So you want to go one more block on which side? Oh, downward. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I like that pattern. Are you a fan? Oh, yeah. Refrigerator is not just a refrigerator. It's the first of its kind as a portable freezer as well. It has two zones and with the ice drive system that it's equipped with, it can get to freezing temperatures within 30 minutes. So all your cold treats and stuff like that after working, stay nice and cold. Are we liking the shape of this right now? Is that the shape we want to do? The long ways? Yeah. We were going to do what, four feet by four feet, but then it yes. only gives six inches in front of the stove, which I feel like you need way more. So we shrunk it width-wise and made it longer. So now it's like three and a half feet by almost five feet. And I'll have like about a foot hanging over the front, which I think is fine. <laughs> Foxy's like, hey daddy, can I help you? Question. Let me help you. I'll draw lines. So I'm gonna cut up and then I want you to, like, you grab one, bring it, and cut it, and then you put it right back where it goes. And then the extra pieces, put off to the side, and if we need to fill anything, we can do that. Okay. One part down. Is this gonna work out with this masonry bit? Yeah. Bouge RV Aspen 50 is the world's first dual system portable refrigerator. Right now we're just using the, the refrigerator part and we just have a bunch of waters, but we've had cold treats in the freezer part, or you can put both of them as a freezer or both as a fridge, whichever you wanna do. It's very versatile. One, two, three, four, five, and he's working on that one right now, so that's six. I'm like, I do two of them, and you're like, I'm like, seven, and you're like, no, eight. <laughs> you only have six more. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can do it. <laughs> like a magic carpet ride. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look a lot better if you get border around it. Get rid of the holes, the mouse traps. <laughs> All the baby kitties are out. We got all the bricks cut. We're gonna be doing two by four, what is that, a casing around it? Yeah. And then we're gonna end up staining it. Two by four. Well, I'm gonna put it on the saw right there. We're gonna cut that out and then kind of cut the framing and see if we can get that at least cut tonight before the, the sun goes down. We got a little bit of time left, so.
I get the box completely done to put the bricks in. It is getting late. I got kids to go take care of and a dinner to make. We will see you guys in the morning for some more fun. The baby kitties are following you. They're waiting for you to come back. Oof. You guys, it feels like we are camping nonstop for like a year and a half. We have some type of idea of what works and what doesn't work. We can tell you right now that portable refrigerator works great. So we have the two zones, fridge, freezer, or freezer, freezer, fridge, fridge, whatever way you want it to work and have both. Also, there's a secret compartment down at the bottom. Right here, if you take this out, there is an a little freezer that's always freezer temperature no matter what if this is a fridge or a freezer it doesn't matter so you can always have something nice and cold to, to eat you guys are in need of a portable fridge bouge rv aspen 50 is the way to go i'm never coming Familia. Who's excited for a fireplace? This guy. That guy? That girl? Come check out what I did today. Okay. So as you guys know, I have homeschool in the morning with the kids and I left Nick by himself. It's the only way work's gonna get done, babe. Most of the time. Look what yes. I did. <laughs> that looks so good. I like it a lot. So do you want to tell everybody what you were doing? I was messing around with papers. Put all the bricks, I mean like a little form, and then put all the, the bricks in there. Had to trim a bunch of them, got it to go in there really well. Some of them are a little rocky or like, they're not like super tight. So. On our property, we have like this little silica sand stuff or something like it. Instead of buying a, a bag of silica sand from the store, we just went and got some from the- we went to the side of the mountain. Yeah, we went to the mountain. Down, well, right down the road. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna put some that stuff on here, use the broom, broom and push it around, get it to fill some of the cracks up, and then we'll be ready to put that guy up here and hook it up to the exhaust, and then we'll have a working fireplace. May I also ask for one other thing? I'm not sure on what it is. <laughs> Can we get rid of the chalk lines on it? <laughs> Where's the cleaning lady at? Ah! Where's the cleaning lady? Where's the cleaning crew? <laughs> Are you guys, I'm still itchy from insulation. I'm still like... Itchy from insulation? Itchy from insulation? Yeah. Well, I can do the sand and then we can brush it. That brushing might even take it off, actually. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna put that on here, get it a little tighter on these uh, pavers or bricks or whatever, start lifting this bad boy up in here to put it in its resting place. Okay, but first I think I need a water. Okay. Meet you over at the bouge. Let's go. My fancy tricks. Oh, wow. Oh, I see, I, that's what I was talking about. I think we should screen it a little bit. Pause. <laughs> Sounds familiar? What are you giggling about? I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Is that off of dirty dancing or something? No! <laughs> I was just saying it. I don't oh. think it's off of anything. Oh. <laughs> One of the fun things about LEOG is we're always like, if the gate's open, come and hang out, come say hi. But the chances are, if you come say hi, we might put you to work. So our friends Ryan and Tiffany came over and poor Ryan and Nick are trying to get our vanity for our bathroom up the stairs. The tractor did the hard work and got it up to here, just oh, so like we did with the wood burning soap, back, but now we have to get it up the rest of the way. I heard Ryan's a ninja. I'm pretty sure he could figure this out, right? We'll, we'll see. see. We'll, try it, I guess. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll just lift it up like we had and just start going, I guess. Okay. I'm good. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, shit. Oh. Bangerang. I'm good, Nick. I'm good. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. Teamwork is a dream work. All right. Yeah. Now you gotta get the smoke up there. Yep. How is everyone? Good. We survived. Yeah. No hernias. Oh yeah, that was like a difficult spot here. Right? Ryan, get a water. There's one in the Bouge RV right there. Pop it open. Uh, you. Yeah, you're gonna need one after that. Like a boss. The pallet puller right there. <laughs> yep. That was all tips. I know. <laughs> <laughs> definitely work almost all day long. So having a power bank right here that's connected to my Bouge RV Aspen 50 refrigerator is phenomenal. It allows it to stay cold for six to eight hours while we're working. The power bank can be charged while running your refrigerator or it can also be charged by solar. You just need a 100 watt solar system to charge this bad boy up. It can be used in the dark or outdoors with features like a built-in interior LED light. Oh, well, we had some friends stop by, Ryan and Tiffany. Thank and you, Ryan and Tiffany, for helping us. <laughs> <laughs> and that vanity weighs 300 pounds in the package and like 270 outside of the package. And I was wondering how I was gonna get that up. And as soon as we showed up, I was like, hey, do you wanna, you wanna help me lift this up here? <laughs> <laughs> so we were able to get it up here, thank goodness. So thanks for that. Now, we're working on this. Yeah. We got the stove on, up on the pedestal, kind of in place. I probably need to shimmy it around a little bit to get it right underneath the support box up there. But I'm trying to connect these two pipes together. And then I have a gunner, a couple more right here. Got it installed. It looks good, nice and straight. Everything's plumb. The pipe is plumb, like on both sides, so it's exactly where we want it to be. Yes. Check it off the list. Wait, hang on. I gotta put some screws that hold all these exhaust thingies together. They're all sitting here on the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna do that real fast, and then I have some touch-up paint for the stove. Stove bright. Put those screws on there because they're like shiny. And then if there's any touch up little areas, I'm just gonna spray it a little bit. Get that thing looking nice and new. And then we are ready to burn our first couple logs of wood, which we're probably not gonna do today because it is like 70 something degrees out. It's actually really nice. Save that for a thunder day when it gets a little chilly. Check that off the list. Now it's time for flooring. Oh, the hole is bigger now. Just for the next five minutes. Got the wood stove completely installed. It's like the only thing that's like finished in here. It looks finished, except for these <laughs> stickers. Those stickers that don't like to come off. That's gonna be for another day, I think. We're in here just trying to get the floor ready, scraping off all the mud and whatever, all the gunk off the ground. 
prepping the floor. Prepping the floor. I'm over here belt sanding a few spots. We went and found our old vacuum. Yeah, that's my old vacuum for my business. We, we luck, lugged it up here. We're just going to clean up the floor right now, but that's not going to be for you guys. It's kind of boring to see, so we're going to end this video right here. If you guys are interested in a portable fridge slash freezer, check out Bouge RV, the Aspen 50. We love it. We've been using it a lot while our build has been going on. If you guys are hikers or overlanders or campers or I don't even know, all sorts of things or road trippers, this thing is perfect for you guys just to have like the cold drinks and treats whenever you want them. We wanted to thank Bouge RV for sponsoring this video. Check the link in our description if you guys are interested in getting one. Give this video a big thumbs up. We're getting close. Give us a thumbs up if you think we're getting close and we're gonna make it before winter. <laughs> Comment any questions that you guys have. Subscribe to our channel. Share it with your friends. We've been getting so many comments about people saying, why don't we have more subscribers and more views because of the quality and people like our videos, which that's awesome to hear. Thank so you for that compliment. yeah, thank, thank you. you. It felt good. <laughs> so share with all your friends, help us out, tell them to tell them to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in a few days. See you in a few